All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for continuing with this series, and I hope you're still here with me. I think I have figured out the bug that was happening where we would get stuck after combat. Um, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, it was as simple as just changing some graphic settings. I don't really know why that worked, but anyway, let's crack on and find out what awaits us in here. This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. Um, I mean, I don't really want to be stealthy, to be honest. First, make sure you have a stealth field generator equipped on your belt. You can't use your stealth skill without one. Use the mouse and click on the stealth button to activate it. Oh, that was a weird change in voice. <laughs> the generator will wrap you in a cloaking effect so you can sneak past the Sith. Just be careful you don't get too close, or you might notice someone's there. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess I can. Oh, wait, no. I mean, I guess I can, but I'm not really a big fan of... Stealth, I guess. I mean, I am in general, but I don't want to be stealthy. Oh. Okay, you can just sneak off that way. Wonder if I can like get a sneak attack bonus by hitting them without them realizing I'm there. Can you see me? I can hope that. Anyway, bam! No idea if that did anything more than usual, but I might use that at times. Um, I mean, one Sith, or one soldier, it's really too much of a challenge. Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll grenade you, and then we'll run at you. Go. Boom. Take him down. There we go, okay. Oh. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use um. computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. But I don't think I have either of those things, but I suppose these footloggers might help. Yeah, computer spikes and... Was it parts? That was the other thing, parts? That was everything in there, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Anything else I can open? Combat droid. Security panel. Um, let's have a look at what I can do with the security panel. Okay, that's a lot. Okay. Overload power conduits. I got five spikes. Oh, repair parts, of course. Computer slicing tutorial. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay, I've seen that. Um, I guess so. Oh, nice. Alright. <laughs> Five of them out. Didn't need the security droid anyway. Or combat droid. What do I, how, how does that work? Oh, okay, so I don't actually have to do anything. And I've got like eight repair parts. Oh, okay, so I would have to use all of them. I'll just engage him. It doesn't need shields. I've already killed everything. Yeah, look at you up and running. That's pretty cool. Alright, what we got? What you got from me, boy? Another med pack. <laughs> Ion Black. Ooh, a Vibro Blade. That to me sounds like better swords. I imagine Ion Grenade is probably something along the lines of Electromagnetic. Ooh. Plus two plus zero versus two of penalty if you use the offhand. Yeah, I don't think I'm using that offhand, but. 
what? I mean, um, which is offhand. Um, ah, uh, it's fine. We'll just, just crack on. And yes, out of combat. Oh wait, no, I didn't actually. Oh, I did combat earlier. So yeah, I seem to have fixed that problem. You've so made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Awesome. Um, also, something I meant to comment on earlier. <laughs> I think Trask is dead. Like, the first thing he said was, you're the only li living thing. So, like, oh, well, probably didn't say anything, but I think he's I'm dead. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Air Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. He makes a very good point. <laughs> no time for chit-chat. Can I still actually just stand here and talk to you? That's the last oh, okay. It's already gone, so there's no all right, reason for all right, to stick all right, around here and get it. shot by the Sith. I get it. Okay. <laughs> just slowly step away. No. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Oh, it didn't give me a leaving the ship flying through space cutscene. That would have been cool. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Um, I apparently saw a vision of some description. I... What? Okay. Uh... Yeah, I remember you. I've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived, the scene... Oh, okay. So what's the deal with the Sith? Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That's okay. I like it that way. Why is it so important to find Bastia? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Okay. Um. I guess we could ask. Um. Yeah, I could ask that. Is yeah. An ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can oh. inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance of the battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay. Um, how do you even know she's alive? I don't, but Bastil is okay. young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? Mm. I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malak and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. This guy, he, he's smart. I like it. Um, okay, so what do we do next? is going to need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, 
We can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So, if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Yeah, definitely sounds like someone we could use. What's in it for me? You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Nope. Mm. Alright, fine. You made your point. Okay. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. True. Okay. Um... Let's know well, more about you. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Okay, what do you know? Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Hmm. Okay, he used to be a Jedi. Malak and Revan were once <laughs> both part of the Jedi Order. But they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the council, they went to battle the Mandalorians. Ha, yeah, Mandalorians. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Hmm. Interesting. Um... <laughs> Sounds like I got the right idea. Okay, fair enough. Uh, something I'll tell else. You what, what can you tell me about this planet? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... Love to know what they are. Worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Oh, that was nice of you. Um, yeah, I kind of do want to know more about you, just because I don't know I you. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time exactly. together in the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Uh, fine. Let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. For some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They said the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Okie dokie then. Um, what we got? Bike, med pack, nice. Workbench, nice. Let's give it a look at what can I do. Are they? What is it? What does it cost? Oh, oh! Vibration cells, what we picked up earlier. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, that's just so cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't think we'll be using these swords for particularly long. Why do they both look the same even though one's apparently... Oh, that one does look slightly different. Okay, anyway. 
Talk to Karth again. Let's just go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take Karth. That's fine. Yeah. Alright, Taris. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. Okay. Quickly establishing That's who is the bad guy. Smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Wow, he figured that out fast. Like, that just feels so broken. Boom. Dead. Egg skill. What a name. Apparently, I understand that. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Um, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Right? Of course, you will. Probably isn't your first time doing that. Is it? All right, cool. Um, backpack. What you got? Another blaster, poison grenade, adrenal strength, adrenal stamina. All right. Uh, stamina, alertness, and strength. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Okay, so you're just not going to give me anything for saving your ass. Right, um... Items. I'd like to know what these adrenal stuff do. Uh, okay, so stamina is constitution, strength is obviously strength, and alaricity then I assume is dexterity? Yeah. Oh, and movement speed. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's have a gander. What's around here? Janitor, you know things. See there, what, what, what were you walking? I just clean those floors. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll not walk on the floor. What? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Sure. I thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. What do you Don't know? know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Um, all right, tell me about this place. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be <laughs> fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. All right, Cantina. Sounds good. Also, I don't know why, but th these ideas of swoop gangs just sound awesome. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Okay, cool. Don't know how We're going to get some equipment. The best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep cool. following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. Okay, that's exactly what you've told me at the cantina. So they're right beside Don't each other? That's cool. Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Okay, so this is really shoehorning me into the cantina. So let's get back to work anyway. A 
I'll probably see you around, though. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Eh, uh, someday it will. Twilight, what you got to say? Okay. Right. Can I open you? Oh, I can level up before I do that. Uh, do it. Skills. Three more points. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna take persuade, and I'm gonna hold on to that. Yeah. Okay, Asko. I was hoping I could hold on to it. Pete's. Um. Persuade. Ooh, that's that's looking like something I'd want. Pair. Yeah, I kind of also want that as well. Saving throws. Power attack. Power blast. Sniper shot. No. Plus one bonus with melee. Could take that. Toughness. Do it. Oh yeah, that's only just. Hmm. Single one. Yeah. Well, does that apply to me? Because I'm using one-handed. I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. Um, I'm going to take that, I think. If I get a feat every level, I'll probably do quite well. Alright, um, and you? What have you got? Okay, dexterity high. Anything else? There's plus ones. Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, so let's... Before we do that, can I... Oh, whoa, I've switched. Hmm? Let's... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's just open the door. On it. Done. Breaking the law. Alright, what we got? Medpack, parts, credits, cool. Uh, um, I am kind of the... I'm the kind of person who kind of wants to go everywhere and see everything. Uh, is this the way out? No? Okay, that's just a droid thing. Um, so... I apolog oh hello, Quarren. I apologize to people who <laughs> I apologize to people who just wanna get on with the story, but uh, this like the more I find the easier the late game's gonna be in general, so oh, hello. Um if I come in, are you gonna be annoyed? No. Okay, we're good. Oh. Yeah, I mean I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, I'm just gonna fleece you and leave you be. I'm not gonna hurt you, like. Okay, so that's gonna lead me down, so. What have I got? One, two, maybe three more doors? Let's see what's in here. On it. Done. Oh, Twilight. Are you gonna be afraid of me, too? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you sure are. Right. Computer spike, yeah. Well, if you're not gonna. If there's no consequences to taking stuff, I'm just gonna take them. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> oh, I didn't even click you. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to take very long for you to say things. Okay, hello. Energy shields. Uh, maybe? Okay, lightsaber and blaster bolts. Yeah, shield could be handy. Okay, so Iron Blasters take a shield. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. 
That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> They're very rare and they're very expensive, yet you're gonna sell me one for cheap, right? Okay, so everybody has some of these I mean, I'm cool with melee combat. That suits me fine. Okay, anything else? I was, I was hoping you'd sell it to me for cheap. Yeah, that's what they all say. Okay, um... Why here? Illegal aliens renting these apartments. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Casual racism going on there. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, the yeah, aren't you worried about getting caught? Uh, I don't know. Those Sith I killed, like, what was it, 10 minutes ago? Clearly didn't think it wasn't worth the butter. Yes, 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 yes. I'll look at your stock. I'll look at your stock. What have you got? Right, what you got? Military suit. I don't have enough for it anyway. Uh, combat suit I've already got. Fiberblade. I could get another one of those. Wait, do I have a Fiberblade or a Vibro Sword? I think I've... I don't actually know. Pistols, grenades, energy shield. Ooh, oh no, I'm one credit off. Ah, oh, damn. Stronger shield, uh, stealth thingy, frag grenades, grenade. Uh, no, mines. Hm. Bit of tactical nonsense going on there. Anyway, what can I, I can sell stuff. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the med packs because they will definitely come in handy. You're not worth anything. Oh, two Viber Blades. Okay, well, I suppose I'll equip the other Viber Blade in. Um, okay, yeah, you've not really got anything there that I want. Uh, okay, so my left hand is my off hand because that's giving me a minus one to hit. Okay. 
Good to know. Anything else I can equip? No. Okay, cool. So now I've got... Oh, they're, they're different colors. Huh. That's pretty cool. I can't get over how cool that is. <laughs> Alright, what we got in here? On it. Done. Oh, your name. You must be important. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. <laughs> Finally, someone calls me out on it after four rooms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Ooh. I sense beef. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't do want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Of course you can trust me. Well, I yeah, suppose you see this is why persuasion is good. When I cut Holden, it made him back off. But it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Um... What can I do? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Um, yeah, I mean, I can go and speak to Holden. Try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Well, look, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty used to getting I my own way, too. There. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Okay. Goodbye well, and good I'll, luck. I'll look I into hope it. you can talk some sense into Holden. If I can manage to do it without killing people, I'll try. But no guarantees. Okay, and then we're... Yeah, we're back around to the start. Okay, so. Place explored. And is it, was this the way out? No. This one? Yeah, this is it. Okay, so before we get too long a video, we're hitting the half an hour mark again. So I'm going to call you here, and we're going to go into the city proper next time round. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part. Hopefully it gets a little bit more exciting, because it has been an awful lot of talking, but, you know, most games kind of start a little bit slowly. So, take care. See you then.